Christ. It doesn't get old to me. I'm just in the monster's face while everyone else is running around and trying to dodge. And I'm just like blocking, poking. Oh, I love it. I don't know if I already said it, but it just dawned on me that um, every time I say, oh, sick, nice job, Kobe. Kobe's actually in the room with me, so he's probably like, what? <laughs> he probably loves all the praise. I gotta be honest, this Hermitor is one of my favorites to ride now. Like, he just hits hard. And he gets mad air off of that junk. Can we get one more hit? No way. We can get with the Baji Kwan, though. What, the Baji Kwan missed? Alright, Naga Kuga. Can sometimes be brutal. I can't believe I didn't get hit by that. But trust me, I'm not complaining. I just, uh oh. Oh, that hurt. Squire, Squire. I forgot to change this support move. So we're just gonna have the. I wonder if I can change it in the. Uh... The tent. Yo, Kobe's shooting after him, dude. I can't change Squire's uh, move in the middle of a quest, unfortunately. So we're stuck with the music buff. Get over here! Oh yeah, the scorpion, baby. Kobe Kadachi. Oh, I got to fight Toby Kadachi because then I can give Kobe Master Rank Toby Kadachi gear. One more tail smash if we can. Yeah. 673, dude. That's a lot of damage. Why am I beating up Toby Kadachi? when I could have just, uh... When I could have just gotten him knocked down and gone for Nargakuga. Oh, if that hit... Oh, with the blue lance, baby. Oh my god. Good placement, Squire. 
Jeez. Kobe's just lighting them up, dude. Look at Kobe over there. He's got a club in his mouth and a gun on his back, baby. Did I get the tail? You're falling apart, my man. Oh my god, literally everything just broke within like a 30 second period. I don't think you can break anything else on him. We got the wings, the tail, and the face. Keep up. Right now he's going to Betty by. Oh, Kobe woke him up by shooting him. Kobe's like, no rest for you. Ouch. Oh, well, he's ready for the cat. Light him up, Tobes. Boy, I gotta find that tail stat. Oh, looks like I'm heading towards it. Oh, I got it. Narga Kuga laugh. 12 minutes? We're getting pretty quick with it. I, mean, I know it's not like speed run status, but it's pretty fast for just like a, you know, casual player. I'm like somewhere in between hardcore and casual. Like I'm a hardcore fan, but I don't like min max my stats or do anything like that. I just tried getting pretty decent stats and then I do what I got to do. I know people do hunts in like a minute and a half to four minutes, like between there. And it's like, okay, <laughs> that's not me. All right, we're gonna do Rakna Kadaki, and then to Rakna Kadaki, we're gonna do the urgent quest, and then I have to stop. Unfortunately, I'm going out of town again, so you guys will have videos for the time period I'm gone, but I won't be able to record while I'm gone. So don't worry. This is this session. You guys are gonna see this while I'm gone, but I'm gonna be playing on the flight. You know, trying to get better gear. I wanna. So I'm just gonna let you guys in on a secret. I like playing Sword and Shield. I like playing Charge Blade a little bit. And I like playing... I've, I've never really dabbled with Switch Axe too terribly much, but I kind of want to try it because some of its moves are cool, like where you climb on the monster, like stab it in them, and it's like a chainsaw almost. Um, at least in my opinion. Or am I thinking of Charge... No, that's Switch Axe, where you just jam it in the monster, and it's like, ging, 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 and then blows up the elemental discharge. What I'm going to do while I'm gone and on the flight and whatnot in between airports is make a great sword loadout a switch axe loadout sword and shield loadout like i, I, I want to have a loadout for almost every weapon the only weapon that well there's a few weapons i really just don't want to use at all mainly being the ranged weapons i don't like like really the only one i like using is the uh heavy bow gun and I, i'm getting kind of tired of that one too but as far as melee i really don't like long sword and insect glaive Dual Blades can be fun, so I might mess with Dual Blades a little bit. But don't hold your breath. I've already got a lot, you know, lined up. You know what I love about Kobe's gun, other than the fact that Kobe has a gun? Is that it does mounting damage. So, like, he helps me knock monsters down, like, pretty quick, too. It's really nice. All right, Rockna.
I will see how this fight goes. It's really, it can be really hard to stun Rakna Kadaki, at least in my experience. Just his head so high up and protected by those pincers that deflect your uh, attacks. Jeez, jeez. All right, relax, home slice. See, Kobe's lighting him up, dude. that uh oh oh I have the wrong darn loadout I forgot to get my items again I think Rakna Kadaki's cool would be a blatant lie. But I do love how he like webs stuff and then like breathes fire and drags himself by the web. It looks really cool. Still no stun? What the heck? What's a gamer gotta do to get a stun around these parts? Oh. No. Well, I botched that so bad. puppet spider or the marionette spider rather oh Baserios is coming in hot all right Wasn't able to quite get the fire. Yet to get the stun on Rack Nakadaki, man. bad
Did we get the stun? We finally got the stun. No. its butt. Out of traps. I'm not out, but I forgot to refill my inventory. was going on there what was he doing oh he was eating that thing while well, i was just bodying him yeah i didn't feel like going back to get traps to be honest with you i just stayed on his tail a luna garen's been spotted we must deal with it at once luna garen ren do you remember the monster that attacked you in the shrine ruins it's one of the three lords Guess what? Curio have been spotted there too. Maybe it is the Curio that are causing these monsters to act this way. Bahari, was it not Malzino that we believed was the driving force behind all of this chaos? Because the way you're talking now makes it sound as if Query is it Querio or Curio? I think it's just Curio are the cause. All kingdom monsters have suddenly gotten way more active, not just the three lords. Nothing like this has ever happened before. I mean it's not the rampage, but it's still a great migration. The rampage was caused by Ibushi and Narwa, as in Calamity level Elder Dragons. Kirio are insects by comparison, it's inconceivable to think they alone could have this much influence. So I'm still convinced an Elder Dragon with the Kingdom is the root cause. It's gotta be Malzino. But the Kirio are somehow involved, is that what you're saying? Yes. It might not be the whole story, but they're in there somewhere. And I'm starting to see how they fit in, I think. But I need more to go on. So same game plan as last time. You take care of the monster, I'll try to have a few of those little suckers, okay? Or deal, sorry. <laughs> Red and Fear Rain, take care of the Luna Garen, and yes, Bahari, get your suckers. All of you be careful. Of course, Admiral. Okay, Red, and I'll meet you there. Chichie, you already have the Luna Garen Urgent Quest registered. We leave as soon as you're ready. Red and a red. There's an urgent quest for you to hunt a Lumigaren, one of the three lords. While it is a monster native to the kingdom, sightings are rare. And the information we do have seems to contradict itself. Savage crawling beast and a giant man with a tail. Some of it is a bit silly. It only comes out during a full moon. <laughs> Sorry, there's not much to go on, but judging by the knight's injuries, it is very dangerous. Please do be careful. Ice Wolf, Red Moon. That's such a cool art You'll do great. Uh, you know we're going in with the lance i know it's a lance episode huh pale moonlight barely breaking through the clouds the creature wanders restlessly through the darkness stepping firmly never dropping its pace its entire body honed to perfection Finally, the clouds split apart, and the moon reveals itself. Silver light illuminates the land and the mountains. It dances. It runs. It trembles with unbridled power. And with an entranced roar, it shows its true form. Moonlight Nocturne. That was a really cool scene. Not him fighting or anything like that. All 
right, here we go. I forgot Pure Rain was going to be with us, to be honest. Luna Garen, where are you? The cooler of the three lords is on his way. Ah, uh, yeah. Which one's the boulder chuck? Is it this one? Yeah, it is. Boom! 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 Oh, wait, no. This is the boulder chuck. This is the big boulder chuck. Out of boosty. puts ice blade on you quick okay we can probably cut that tail off Heck yeah, tell him, Fiorin. Oh, God. This thing is straight up a werewolf. Did she heal me? Feel rain MVP. I feel like I'm fighting. I don't know. I don't know what I was gonna say. Oh, like maybe Hugo from uh, Primal Fury or just any werewolf character. Like I knew, like obviously they said, they literally straight up said that it's supposed, it's like basically a werewolf. Frankenstein's monster is Garen Golm and um, vampire is Malzino, but this thing, is even more like a werewolf than I expected, like standing on hind legs and junk. I didn't expect it to do that. Scumbag. Oh. we got him pinned down. Wow. Stuns do not last long against him, do they? Oh my god, he has kicked me. You know who it actually reminds me of? Like Saber Wolf or... Um, John Talbane from Darkstalkers. I will suffer you no that little kick reminded me of something Talbane would do from Darkstalkers. Oh, there goes the tail. Yeah, stalk this. 
He was stalking me, but then I just shield bashed his side and he was like, ah, uh oh. Keep forgetting to change the feline power up. God, this thing's getting lambasted right now. Squire's just chucking bombs into it. And now it's falling asleep. Oh, Lord. Dude, Squire was just chucking the bombs. Fiorain and her pup. So, what the fuck? She sent a mega barrel bomb too? <laughs> oh, God. All right, stand back. Boom. Dude, that was some damage. Oh yeah, and while he was down, Kobe was also shooting him in the face. As he's doing right now, look at Kobe, he's just lighting him up. Oh, there's that Albane pick. Oh! Yo, Kobe's still just lighting him up. That was a big hit right there. Aha, uh -huh. big hit right back at you. Oh, he's down for the count. I will. Let me just grab this uh, loot. Oh, wait, there was more loot. Oh, well. Alright. Now, that smart thing to do would be to knock him down, but you guys know how it goes around here. I want to see his moves. That's a pretty lame, uh, if he attacked just a normal headbutt. Okay, the ice breath. Looming Aaron's not as fun as I thought he would be to ride, to be honest. It's vulnerable. Attack. Getting angry. I mean, his light attacks seem cooler. I don't know. Let's see the uh, heavy, though. Or the pun Punisher. You could teach us knights a thing or two. Okay. So he does the flurry of slashes and then the big cross slash. Yeah, he wasn't as uh, hype as I had thought he would be. Mark my words, every time that there's a Garen Golem, I want to see if there's a Turf War. So I'm going to grab this here Luna Garen with the Stink Mink. And we're going to bring him over. We're going to see if there's a turf war. Oh, God. They're just punching each other. All right. Doesn't look like it. Oh, God. Yeah. 
bad. John Talbot. He doubles up. Not this time, Talbane. my back. Break the ice and then end him. Easy. He was a cool fight, though. I gotta be honest. I, I did enjoy that fight quite a bit. Toby, get out of that hole. God, they were all just in the dirt. <laughs> Yo, what the heck you doing, Squire? Put that down. Results to be proud of. Hey! Hey! Wow! Would you look at that? Put my water too far. Could you not have waited for our return at least? Hmm. It's not like I don't trust your skills or anything. It's, it's just I, I can't sit here and wait for you all day. I've got a. Uh... I guess there's no point in stopping him now. We should await his report. Mm. It's all yours. Your test will have to wait. What? Why? Do it later. Up there! Nice roll. Yo, get out of there, boys. Talk about terrifying. Yo, are we going straight in? Let's go! They're gonna steal our Luna Garen.
be all right. That was pretty intense. So Bahari's gonna figure out, I guess, that it's like stealing blood or essence or something. I don't know. Bahari, report. Yep. Well, other than almost getting ripped to shreds and or eaten by Malzino, we're okay. Theo, you sure you're okay? You weren't hurt too badly, were you? It's nothing, really. A minor flesh wound. I promised the Admiral I would behave myself. It's just a scratch and it hardly even hurts anymore. I'll have no trouble continuing my duty. Uh -huh. <laughs> Good. Glad to see you safe as well, Red. Let us get to the point. Malzino's finally graced the scene. It must be eliminated immediately. We will put an end to this. Hold it, Admiral. I'm not on board with taking out Malzino. Not yet, at least. The Curio? Yeah, this whole situation. It all started with monsters from our kingdom pushing into new territory. And their ultra-aggressive behavior started to influence other monsters. And then those monsters became aggressive too. We still don't know the exact cause, but it's starting to look a lot like it came about from those Curio bites. And now we've got Malzino thrown into the mix. One thing's pretty obvious. Do the honors, Fio. Malzino has been using the Curio to drive other monsters into this hyper-aggressive state. Why? We do not know yet. But at least now there's a clear link between the aggressive monster behavior, Malzino, and the Curio. We gotta thank you, Redden. We'd never have come this far without your help. Bahari, there's no record of Curio being seen with Malzino. I hear you. It seems like there's a link, but there's still a lot we don't know. Why is Malzino using these Curio? How does it even benefit from this whole situation? I say that. I say that until we figure that out, we can't go after Malzino. It'd leave too many questions. All right, we'll hold off on dealing with Malzino. Be around and red and carry on with your assignments. Ari, get your answers. Easier said than done. But I put my trust in you to find a way. Now get to work. Yo, am I going to go hunting with Fuggin? Ew. I was hoping it would be Elder Fuggin. Uh. Hey, Red, would you like to go hunting together? Hey, don't give me that look. I can do more than just sit here and snack on Dango. Are you sure about that? What, Utsushi wants to go hunting? Okay. Ooh, oh, her too? Jesus. What's in the four? Mitsuzune, Diablos, Rathalos. And that's it. Wow, there's not many in the four ranks. All right, well, unfortunately, that'll do it for me for now. Hopefully you guys are enjoying. We're, we're, we're getting there. The plot's thickening. We're going to fight Malzino. And you know there's going to be a big boss after Malzino. There always is. The flagship monster of the expansion or game is never the final boss, so... Can't wait to see what that is. But I'm gonna be out of town for a few days. But don't worry, you guys. By the time you see this, I'll probably be back in town. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> there'll be no break for you guys. But I might mess with some of the weapons, like I mentioned before, and have some new armor sets and new weapons I wanna try out next time we I, I uh, see you guys. So thank you so much for tuning in, and I hope to see you then.